And these are people who are presumed to be innocent under the law. Savannah Kamar is an attorney with the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas. She says the Sixth Amendment enshrines our right to a speedy trial, an impartial jury, and a lawyer. Most of the big cities in Texas have been able to provide attorneys at people's first court hearings. But the ACLU believes Travis County is falling behind by sending defendants to their first court appearances without an attorney present. These appearances are often done by video conference from the jail. And she says during these appearances, a judge might ask defendants incriminating questions about their case. Kamar says that's exactly what happened Tuesday when a man in his 30s experiencing homelessness was arrested in Travis County. So there are massive consequences that come out of these hearings that a lawyer um, can actually play a huge role in ensuring that people's rights are protected. The ACLU and partners filed a class action lawsuit late Wednesday night, this man representing all other plaintiffs in the case. This is a problem that's affecting every single person, um, for the most part, who is booked into the jail and then is unable to afford an attorney to represent them. Not only could someone without the knowledge and experience of an attorney accidentally harm their own criminal case, but the lawsuit claims an attorney significantly impacts bail judgments and how long someone may spend in jail. The ACLU believes this leads to further violations of the 14th Amendment, which covers due process and equal protection. If bail is set to an amount that they can't afford, that means they're going to be separated from their family, from their job from their housing for even longer. Travis County responded to the lawsuit, saying it's actively working to correct this issue. It says a new council at first appearance program is being implemented with the first test shifts being piloted later this month. In a statement, a Travis County spokesperson says in part, by implementing CAFA, we can help make our community safer and more resilient by stabilizing families and reducing the amount of time a person spends in jail after an arrest and while awaiting a trial. It adds four more shifts will be introduced in May, but the program has already been delayed two years and the ACLU calls the response sluggish. There's a really real and devastating human cost to this. People are really suffering when they, in their most vulnerable moments, um, are having to face a judge and advocate for themselves without a lawyer to help them navigate this process. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.